So on March 3rd, um, the Birmingham WFO County Warning Area expect, uh, experienced a vicious flooding off. Despite the model forecast and efforts by the Storm Prediction Center, the WFOs, and the state and local emergency management offices, and despite extended rain severe weather outlooks and great watch verification and extended warning lead times, 23 people died. Two things to keep in mind uh, for the March 3rd case. One, the NIC Chris Starr and the suit Kevin Laws accompanied the first responders into the rural area as hard as did. They saw the carnage and were deeply impacted as anyone could be. Two, the day after, on March 4th, Eddie Hicks and other Alabama emergency managers stopped at the National Weather Service headquarters on their way to the Hill to see how we conduct our morning stand up and then to meet with the National Weather Service leadership team. Their first comment to us at the meeting was the Birmingham office did everything right. Everything they could have done was done. By mid-morning on March 4th, Southern Region Headquarters and John Murphy, the National Air Service Chief Operating Officer, was, were telling us that the office was devastated and the employees were very hard on themselves, that they had replayed the event over and over, looking for any extra insight that would have increased the long lead time, anything that may have made a difference. On March 23rd, I paid the Birmingham office a visit and what I experienced in this office was profound. Their pain was still there. And I got permission to say this to Kevin. Kevin Laws was still racked by this experience and actually cried on my shoulder. They talked about exercising speed in the warning process and to the connection to IDSS. And he talked about this in a way without sacrificing the physical and social science basis for the information they needed to deliver. These call to actions, a type of statement, not statements. So let's move forward to Durham. When the phones and the social media lit up by 10 a.m. Central Time on September 1st, they did what any office would do, with an emphasis they deemed essential to shut down what they thought were rumors. They quickly acted to reassure the partners, the media, and the public with strong language that there was no threat of a tropical storm affecting the state and local communities at that time. And he did that based on past experiences to ensure clarity and impact. They did, they did that with one thing in mind, public safety. And they responded not knowing where this information was coming from. <coughs> Only later, when the retweets and the politically based comments came into their office, did they learn the sources of this information. Nevertheless, they were correct in clarifying that the threat was very low. Furthermore, the state and local emergency managers and public safety officials made their decisions accordingly and praised their office for quick actions. So let me be clear. The Birmingham office did this to stop public panic, to ensure public safety, the same goal as all the National Weather Service offices were working toward at that time. The system worked as designed and based in part on best practices and lessons learned from both physical and social science principles, especially from prior events. The integrity of the forecast process was maintained by the Birmingham office and across the entire National Weather Service, and actually the entire enterprise, including the local media. So I'd like to close by asking Sue, Kevin Laws, and the Birmingham employees that are present to please stand and be recognized.
and other extreme events. Please stand.